What's going on YouTube? It's your boy living in London back again. You know the deal already. If you have people, it means the world to your boy. And if you subscribe, comment, like, and share. If you do subscribe, hit the notification bell. How many times I've got to keep telling you people? So every time I release a video, back, you get a notification. And you can just chill. You know what I'm saying? Whilst joking that for 10 minutes. But yeah, how's your day been, people? I hope it's all good, man. I've had a very uneventful day. I haven't done too much. Just been chilling, taking it easy, you know? Yep. Doing them ones there. Lockdown's over in a week, people. Get your plans together because summer's coming. You know the ones there? Come on. <clears throat> still at it, man. Still at it. But, people, yeah, hear this, hear this, hear this, yeah. I'm seriously looking at vaping for the future because I've never tried vaping, yeah. But, like, smoking makes your teeth yellow, makes you stink. Like, smoking weed anyway. And like, um, you know, like, it's just not a good look. I'm always mongy, so I'm gonna try the vapes. I really, I really wanna get off this. I don't, I know I'm not trying to sit here and make it look cool. Look at me, I'm smoking a drink. Nah, man, I've been struggling this for years, bro. You know, so don't judge too harsh people. Anyway, people, today's story time. Come on, I haven't given you a story in ages. I'm giving you everyone else's story, telling you what fucking other people are doing on YouTube and that. But let me tell you what about one of my stories, yeah? You know what triggered this story off? The other day I'm chilling in my mate, and then someone rung, my boy P, Porky from Hackney, Carl Dennis, shout out to him. And we was just talking. And then he said something to me, it just rubbed through my head. He's like, yeah, I was chatting to Yami B the other day. And I'm like, Yami B? You know Yami B TV, shout out to him, cool guy, yeah? And I'm like, what, you know him, yeah? And he's like, yeah, when I was in dispersals and that, blah, 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 blah. Remember before I come out, and um, I'm like, fuck you, no, and I forgot, my man was doing life. But um, I don't even spoil that story. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm there. Uh, I'll ring him later and see if I can get that story. If I can get there, do that story, I'll do it tomorrow. It's a proper sick story still. But now he's legit, he's turned his life around, P, uh, Porky. And um, he's got like a security company, got a catering company, just doing well, man. A lot of us have either fucking died, got some mad serious drug habits, some mad big sentences, or uh, we changed, you know? So shout out to all my positive people out there, boy, you know, the one's there. But yeah, so this story is about paid protection, you know, the one's there. And when I say paid protection, yeah, this is how it was. They didn't give us money. What they were doing, it was a little group and it was a little smash and grab group, yeah. And every time they would smash and grab something, yeah, they'd come and give me and my boys, like me and P, the goods. And then we'd like make a drink on it and then we'd hold them down. Now, let me go into the story now. It's so cool. It's about 2010, 2011. He's just uh, come out of prison. Sorry, one sec. P's just come out of prison and uh, been out a few years maybe. And uh, but he was meant to be gone, you know what I'm saying? He got, anyway, I'm not spoiling that story. I'm not spoiling that story. Shout out to everyone from Hackney, shout out to everyone, one people from Hackney, shout out to P, shout out to all your people, shout out to the family, hope you're good. Send my love to you. Anyway, so. There's a smashing grab group, yeah? Like, there's all types of criminals in Camden, yeah? But these young Gs, they were smashing and grabbing. My cousin was with them, yeah? And uh, they were hitting it. They were smashing and grabbing Hatton Gardens for watches. They were doing West End. They were doing Louis Vuitton. They were just, they were clearing up. But they were young Gs. And there was a guy a couple years older than them, and they weren't feeling it. They see how they were moving. They see the type of money they were getting. And they're thinking, Bob, that's easy food. So, like, a few of them got their doors kicked off, a few of them got robbed, a few of them got stabbed up in there. They're not feeding that. They're thinking, what can we do? They can't with a bite of beer. Talk to your cousin, meaning me. So, they say that's my little cousin. So, my little cousin calls me. I remember I hear about stuff on the streets, but I'm going to fuck with scam and that's up to them, you know what I'm saying? I ain't making nobody with them sort of thing. <laughs> Even though it's my little cousin, he's got to just do his thing. <laughs> but, uh, so, yeah. So uh, I get a phone call from my cuz. He's like, yo, G, blah, boom, boom, boom. He explains the situation. So it's, like, it's a sticky one still. <laughs> you know, like, fucking, they're getting through it. And uh, they need help. So I'm like, all right, cool. Who's doing it? He tells me the names. I'm like, all right, cool. I know the people that are doing it. And I'm thinking, fuck. I can't bring them on my own because <clears throat> I need some people. My other, most of my people was in jail at the time. It was kind of just me and like someone else on the roads and that weren't, that team weren't strong enough. I'm thinking, who, 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 who? My guy's like to me, ring P up, man. Ring Porky up. 
And I'm like, you know what, that could run still. So I ring up Porky, I explain the situation. I say, there's money to be made. These guys are killing it, I tell him. But there's pressure on the roads and we're going to have to handle them. We're going to have to ride out. And I'm him. He's like, thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. He's like, cool, cool, cool. I'm going to come down, I'm going to see you. I'm like, all right, sweet. So he comes down, G. It's like, you know, this guy's serious. He comes down, one, two cars. One full up with young G's from Hackney. The other car full up with guys from Brum. Like, where he was uh, doing dispersals around England. I think that's where he met Yami B as well, doing like, you know, in them life of jails and that. Uh, where he was there, he must have linked up with some Brum guys. And when he come out, he kept the link up. So anyway, so now, in my end, there's like the young G's from Hackney and there's fucking um, uh, P and the Brum guys. And I'm like, cool, this is the situation. I've got to pick the goons number that are pressuring these youngers that are robbing, uh, going out doing the smash and grabs. So uh, we make an ag agreement. Every time you rob something, you come and give us the stuff and then we'll sell it and then you tell us the P you want and we will sell it and make a drink on it. You give us a cut mates rate sort of thing. So we all agreed on it. So obviously they're licking it again and then something happens to one of them. Door gets booted off and uh, run up in the mum's house. They take their shit. We get the phone call. We stick it on these boys. We pop it sticking it on them, yeah? But... Phone calls ain't doing it too much. Like, you got to go and, you know, put it in work. So, uh, like I say, we had young G's back and forth. Like, we had guys from Brom. So, it got sticky in Camden for li literally six to seven months. It was going down. These boys were hitting it. Like, sometimes they'd get robbed. Sometimes we'd catch the guys that robbed them and they'd get chinged. Like, like they were just back and forth for ages. Do you know what I'm saying? And there was no peace. They, they weren't letting up. And we were just going hard on them boys. And uh, some, well, sometimes it went us, sometimes it was the young G, sometimes it was the Birmingham guys, sometimes it was us, you know what I'm saying? But it was just back and forth for ages. And this is what I'm talking about when you're in the roads, my people, yeah? I glamorise a lot of shit, yeah, and I hype it up, yeah? That's come living in the moment. <clears throat> I'm trying to give you, like, entertaining story, you know? But when you're on the road, yeah, you've got to watch out for the police. Then you've got to watch out for your mates that are snitching. Then you've got to watch out for the people that are going to try and rob your shit and try and run up on you. Yeah, then you've got to watch out for the chicks that are going to try and set you up and all this other stuff. But it is such a hard game. And you don't really have too many benefits, you know? Like, it's like if you make a load of money, you can't even go and buy a house or a car and that. It doesn't make sense, people. It's a fucking trap, the roads. It's a fucking trap, yeah? I promise you that. Anyway, so... It's going down in Camden, yeah? I even had to move from where I was to another spot. Because it was just too peak for me. I couldn't be like where I was. Like I'd be a target there, you know what I'm saying? So I'd even moved. Yeah, but I was putting in work and I was going back and forth and I was making money. But it was just it was a mad situation. And now when I look back on it in them times there, I think, how did I live like that, man? Like, how did I think that kind of shit was normal? Why like it's just mad, you know? So people, if you are in that life, trust me, trust me, find a way out. Have a plan B, because it's just not the way, you know? Like I say, there's so many different dangers, you know? And I can't go into detail about it, obviously not, because um, I still live in Camden, you know what I'm saying? Some of the goons are still around. We're cool now, everything's all love. But I'm not trying to bring up old shit and all that. But it's a little story for you people, just, you know, if any of you young dudes out there watching this or any, if, if, even if you're going through bits, just remember, just allow it. Find a better way. That's why I'm doing this YouTube thing as well, people. Like I say, I'm trying to get the message out there, but also I want views, subs. I want to make money from this. I'm going to be doing a podcast soon, people, yeah? And when I say a podcast, it's more like a show. I'm not going to be interviewing people. No, it's just going to be me and my boy. He's been in the industry for a little while, yeah? And uh, so he knows what's what. And uh, he's a funny guy. And you know, we're just going to just bust joke and it's going to be like current events. And it's just going to be lighthearted, good stuff. And we're going to have a thing where you can phone in. And we're going to get involved with the comments. So I'm trying to evolve and change. Like I said in my intro video, this is my journey, people. You know, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing. You know, I'm an ex-criminal who does not, you know, I'm just, I'm just learning, people. So bear with me and I promise you we're going to get to a good space. And uh, yeah, get my Instagram lit as well. It's living underscore in underscore LDN, all lowercase. And I will put it in the description below. But people, uh, one more thing as well. The Brian Harvey reaction kind of thing or just i spoke about it yesterday but i didn't put too much thought into that you know as you can mostly tell from the video yesterday but the more i looked into it because i was getting comments from people saying this and saying that yeah i was like oh boy like people are really feeling this guy let me go and just check see what's going on and when i check some of the videos i was like what the fuck like is there really something more to this you know but you've got to remember people's youtube 
and all we can go on is YouTube videos, find Harvey's and the people connected in the situation. So it's very hard to find truth in that, you know? That's all I'm saying, people. But I will try my hardest to give you a better, a more in-depth look into that Brian Harvey situation, because it definitely is interesting, people, and I definitely think it's uh, worth talking about and worth making a video about. Anyway, people, it's your boy living in London. I'm out here. I love all you guys. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all my new subscribers. We're at 6K now. Whoop, whoop. And um, yeah, just thank you for everything, people. I appreciate all the love. It just means a lot to me, and it just gives me confidence, and it just makes me feel happy, you know? Really, it does, people. I know it sounds cheesy in that, but being honest, I love you guys. It's your boy living in London. Back. I'll see you later or tomorrow. Peace.